Resetting your Apple ID password isn't one size fits all. Different scenarios require tailored fixes. In this first video of our series breaking down all Apple account issues, as covered in our full length version, we'll show you the fix for when you don't have access to your trusted device. Fourth scenario, no access to your iPhone, forgot passcode, need repairs, or setting up a new device. If you've forgotten your device passcode, need to disable Find My iPhone for repairs, or your iPhone is damaged or lost. Resetting your Apple account password becomes a bit more complicated. But don't worry, there are still ways to regain access. If you don't have another trusted device, you can use the Apple Support app on a borrowed device. You can use any Apple device, even if it belongs to a friend, family member, or an Apple service center, to reset your password. Here's how. Open the Apple Support app on the borrowed device. If it's not installed, download it from the App Store. Scroll down to the Support Tools section and tap on Reset Password. Select Help Someone Else. Input your Apple account email address or phone number. Tap Continue and follow the on-screen instructions to reset your password. This is where the verification process begins. First, you may be asked to receive a verification code sent to your phone number. Make sure your SIM card is installed in an available device, whether it's damaged or locked, to get the code. Then you will see complete the process on your iPhone. If you select can't get to your iPhone, another verification method might prompt you to receive a second verification code to your phone number or directly enter your passcode. The steps can be changed based on your account status. Important tip, if you're asked to enter your passcode and it doesn't work, even though you know it's the correct one, try entering your old passcode. In most cases, it's the passcode that's synced to iCloud and that's what the system will recognize. Once you enter it, you'll be invited to choose a new password. Be careful. If you enter the wrong passcode too many times, you may get locked out for an hour. If that happens, you can complete the process later. Also, if you click forgot or don't know your passcode, you might see a screen you see before. Asking you to choose a device. This is the point where you can take advantage of choosing the device that you know the passcode for. For passcode lock scenarios, in 99% of cases, this will lead to the account recovery process. Since your main issue is the passcode, go ahead and proceed. Once you start the recovery process, you'll need to verify your email address. If you don't have access to your email, try to regain access and enter the verification code you receive. The final step in the process will require you to verify your payment method with your CVV. You can skip the last two steps, but the wait time will be longer. So try to verify this info as much as you can. You will be asked to wait for 24 hours. There are some tips related to the account recovery will be mentioned in seconds. Rest assured, any information you enter will not be stored on the borrowed device. Looking for more tips like this? Click one of those amazing videos and keep watching.